Oh guys, what's your boy Tommy here? Right, so um just about to start the next section of the my Moria. Um so I thought I'd give you a sort of an insight of how much I've carved out of this place. Um what I'm gonna do with above ground. So when you get below there it's hard to figure out you know, get a judge of distance and stuff like that. So um, this is a marker. This marks the beginning of what's the beginning at the minute. This won't be the beginning. Um, I've got to do the beginning eventually. But so that's where you spawn in there. So if you ever get a hold of this world and it and I haven't done it properly, um, that's the beginning of it down there. Follow the marker in. That's where you spawn. Find that. So I've just carved um, me 300 steps. Moria's 300 steps, so we're going to find it. So, if you think about distance and how far I'm travelling, this will give you an idea of just how big the world is at the minute. The actual build. So, we'll just keep going. Um, creative mode is fantastic. But for you guys, I like a bit of a challenge. Survival mode's about to be uh, released soon. And I have to admit, it's pretty damn funky. It's really good. Um, had a go of it. Got myself lost in the cave. Died. Died again. Died a few more times. Um, but yeah, you're like it. It's really good. It's a, it's a hard challenge as well. This survival mode is really hard. Um, you've got to you've got to work for what you want, and I know the hardcore players really like that sort of thing. So you really have to think about everything you're doing. Every second counts in this game. Um, then once the hazards are added, so the main hazard now is uh, just freezing to death. But once the hazards are added, uh, you will be pretty badly fucked up. So getting everything sorted pretty quickly is the aim of the game. So still going. Can't actually see me spawn. I've got this on fast. So the draw distance is around about um on 32 bit is six I believe. So on 64 bit which I'm on it'll be about eight. Seven or eight. So that's 7 or 8 draw distance times 16 I think it is um, for block distance. So I'm still going. So if you think about I've carved all of this out underground. Um, you've seen the videos. And I've carved it out. And it's just as wide. <laughs> long but it's just as wide just so you never see that bit because it's pretty boring because it's all the same so I still go I actually didn't know I had space shuttles in here sweet space shuttles and satellite dishes <laughs> excellent I've never actually been across the top of the world um, I've always been underneath so I still go Still going. So easy to miss it as well. I think I need to edge over a little bit. But yeah, I get lost. <laughs> I can't tell them when I get lost. Oh, what a noob. Still going. Got a dirty big mark around there somewhere. There it is. There you go. So that's the end of me 300 steps. So you think how far I've been travelling? I've carved all that out. Um, just so you see I'm not uh, pulling your legs let's get in there now 
obviously this is how deep it is there you go that's me 300 steps we'll just make my way up so I've got all this to, to decorate um, and it gives a good I've actually got signs while I was going down telling us how many steps I've done um, it gives a good distance between the main build up there in the next section I mean fair enough there's going to be a shitload of customs down here but um, gives a good distance between the two it's 200 steps so we've gone up 100 we're getting there Fifty. That's one hundred and fifty. I should say. That should be two hundred steps. Yep. Getting up there. Now the other top. Hopefully on the Yeah, there's the top there. And if you have follow me video, you know where you are now. So this is the top. So height wise. Still going, still going. There's the roof. Can't actually see the floor in this uh, visual. The pillars are approximately 200 meters high. Um, so if you think size wise, 200 meters just for the pillars. And you've got the depth of the world. And then how deep I'm going that way as well. Um, 300 steps, so you've got 2 meters per step. So that's 600 meters away, 300 meters deep on top of the 200 meters I've got here um, so that's 500 meters um, and then there's probably about 50 to 100 meters of rock on top of this um, so that's 600 meters um, don't know any games I can do with that at the minute apart from focus craft of all and obviously for width it's just as wide as it is long um, all the pillars that way there's 64 of these bad boys in here each pillar is about 22 meters by 22 base so that's 200 high 22 by 22 massive pillars 64 of these in the world so far <coughs> Yeah, we're back at the beginning. Still got a lot of work to do. Um, I'm concentrating on pushing forward, but once I push forward, done this next section, which will end in a like a throne room, I can start pushing sideways and work on them sections as well. Um, so this section's unfinished because I'm not building that way yet. So I've done the back wall because that's the way I'm building. I've done the front part because that's where I came from sides I'll do um, when I've done the sec next section so it's going to be split into different sections there will be a mine added at some stage um, you know I like building my mines this mine will be even bigger than the ones I've already done um, I've done some pretty big mines um, some pretty high detail blocks in I'm planning on building something really spectacular. 
So the statue, these are still unfinished. Um, these are just placeholder at the minute. I've got my proper statue outside which I need to paste in. The statues either side. This will be a massive alcove when I'm sitting. Um, but these are the place so these are the like the first ones I built. Um, there's been three editions of this statue since that. Um, the final edition, well, I'm seeing final, I'll probably work on it even more. Is uh, outside waiting to be sectioned up so I can paste it in to the new section I'm building and I'll eventually paste it in round here as well because this one I need to replace that with a new one as well just to keep experimenting with stuff um, of course the all the ore blocks have changed so uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need to change all of this. Um, it's all gone belly up, but I'll get it all changed. Yeah, I'm not too long. Um, I thought I had it perfect, and then it changed. But the gold is good. Um, if you get the gold in the customs, um, and you get the right lighting, it looks like it actually looks like metal in the right lighting, rather than this very yellow it's more like uh, sulfur than gold on the actual ore block but when you get into a custom it's almost like metal in the right line as you can see it's in there but I do like it on this it gives it an old effect as well so it's not brand spanking new pristine it's got that worn weathered look about it um, so as you can see, this place is quite big. It's took a lot of carving out, but this is a one-man job. Remember, I've done all of that in just a few weeks. Um, so if you think about it, that's one man doing that. Imagine when the multiplayer comes in, what teams are going to be capable of actually building. So there you go, thanks for watching guys, I hope that gives you an insight of just how big this place is so far, and it's very small compared to what it's going to be. But thanks for watching, keep smiling, ta da